about is doing this, sorting rocks. Big rocks, little rocks. I like that job. You could do that job. I could really do it well. Right. You're a good rock sorter. This goes in the big one, this goes in the little one, this one goes in mine. <laughs> what, what's this mine stuff? My pile. Your pile of rocks? Yep. Well, here we are in the green fields of Yuma. We're headed back towards Quartzite for a while. Going to see what's going on up there at the La Posa South. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Whee! You never know who you're going to see up there in Quartzite. Here's a couple of pictures of people I met. After years of seeing the RTR grow, I finally got to meet the Bob. Here's another one of my favorite people. Randy of the Mobile Traveler finally got his stickers. Not every day goes as planned. I dropped the timing chain in my Suzuki sidekick and am getting towed by Ron to a mechanic about five miles from La Posa South down in La Paz Valley. I know Tim, and he's a very good mechanic. A picture of Tim, to, so that a year from now when I come back, I can remind myself what he looks like. Yeah, there you go. Huh? Video so that you could say Tim does the best work because Tim does do the best work. So we're at the uh, Diddle Auto Works here, where uh, we've had two samurais and a sidekick repaired, and. Uh, we have come to feel totally confident in Tim as a mechanic. I want the tractor. That's what I want. I want the tractor. Oh, and the other thing I want, and I've been talking and talking and Tim won't give it up, is this pickup. Look at that pickup. Wow, that pickup is just amazing. What year is the pickup? 46. 46 Ford. It's beautiful. And I am And I did a scoop on camper van Kevin. <laughs> yeah, just You found a place to sun yourself. Yeah. Absolutely everything with anybody who's interested. And then I'll just take your price that it went for and <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's Tim and he's actually the guy that's in the picture up here. Look at this. See? There he is. You can find Tim at La Paz Valley, a small town about five miles south of Quartzsite, Arizona. Great work and fair prices. We're back at La Posa South, south of Quartzsite, and that guy with the big white truck tractor there, his nickname is Bozo, and he spelled it out with 15 foot high letters with rocks, and it finally showed up on Google Earth. I saw it on Google Earth. It's not there anymore. They change those pictures all the time. Well, La Posa South has been a great place for us to meet up with our Monaco group. There goes my friend uh, Leonard, the guy with the Jeep and that canoe on top. Anyway, we're uh, going to go down here to the dump and water place and get rid of my garbage. Well, this is where the dump line starts. One, two, kind of an RV show. Three, four, five, six,
I don't wait in that long line to dump. I've figured out a better way. They close the water access at 6 p.m. So if you go dump about 7 p.m., there's no line because you can't get water at the same time. There are two places to dump and eight places to hook up and get water. So there's never a line for the water. I go in the next day and get the water. Just seems like a better, smarter way to do it. This is my third year of being here at this time of year, and it's amazing how many people wind up in exactly the same spot every year. My cribbage partner, Len, and Len says he's been practicing with his uh, online, or not online, but just a computer yes. program, right? Yes. So, deluxe. And I've been practicing my cribbage. I've been practicing getting beat a lot, but I just got... 28 if that were the jack of knobs instead of the queen it would be a perfect hand i got 28 one short of 29 a perfect hand <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about that lynn i think you're awesome oh <laughs> <laughs> oh and know, let me turn the camera off and we'll rediscuss this okay i think he's pretty awesome with that hand too <laughs> This is the High Jolly Monument. The High Jolly Monument has been placed on the National Register of Historic Places by the U.S. Department of Interior. High Jolly was a camel jockey hired by the cavalry for a test to see if camels would work out here in the desert southwest better than horses for the cavalry. It didn't work out, but uh, camels became the symbol here of Quartzsite, Arizona. And people are leaving little offerings to High Jolly, but I'm kind of wondering if Coca Pelli is just horning in on the publicity. Actually, is a graveyard. Keeps going over there, a quarter of a mile. On the road again. Yep, we're on the road again. Hi, friends. I'm actually back home in Mexico, and looking forward to making some videos about Mexico. But I took some time off back there in Arizona, doing videos, and just enjoyed myself. I did uh, carry my camera around with me, and I have some video to edit for you. So the last few videos of Arizona will be forthcoming, and then I'll try to get back to my usual schedule that I've kept for a few years of putting Mexican life and retirement videos on YouTube on Tuesdays and Fridays. That's a schedule that I enjoy doing when I'm here at home in Mexico. But before that, we have some videos to watch. We're going back to Hippie Hole. And uh, we have a trip to California with our son searching for insects along the big new border wall that the president is building. We have a couple of days in Yuma. A night at Painted Rock, halfway to Tucson, some drone shots of Picacho Peak, and a tour of Salome, Arizona, before we fly to Guadalajara, Mexico, and go on to our home here on Lake Chapala. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.